Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about the particle in a ring model, specifically applied to pi electrons in benzene. We have two representations of that molecule here, and we know that this model particle in a ring is not that great, but it's still, it's applicable to understand cyclic conjugated molecular systems. Now, for this particular case, we're going to treat the electrons in benzene as particles that are moving freely over this carbon ring. Now, remember that you have resonance, and also we thought we think about those electrons in this pi system in benzene as being delocalized all around the molecule. So with that, if we apply this model, we can calculate what is the minimum energy that is required in order to excite one of those pi electrons. In this case, we're going to assume that the carbon-carbon bond length in here is nothing else than the average between this carbon double bond carbon and carbon single bond carbon all around the molecule, all of those being equal to one another. And that makes sense because of resonance, at least that all the bonds are expected to be of equal length. So how do we set up this problem? Well, remember that the energy in this model is given by this equation that came from boundary conditions solving this running equation for our problem. This m sub l is the principal quantum number that can take values of numbers in the set of integers and including zero. Now, if you remember, each of those carbon atoms are going to contribute with one p electron. So in total, we're going to have six electrons available for that pi system. And each of level, it's going to hold two electrons, so that means that these six pi electrons are going to be distributed in three levels. So the three lowest energy levels are going to be occupied, and those will correspond to the quantum number zero plus minus one. Okay, the next question is, we know that the particle that is moving is an electron, so if I want to calculate the moment of inertia, I need to calculate mass times the radius of that circle square. So here I'm superimposing the carbon-carbon uh, distance, and the ring is going to be that form by the carbon atoms. So the way to... Um, find what is the radius of this circle, we can just move around those bond lengths and we quickly realize that the radius of that uh, ring where the electrons are moving is nothing else than the distance between carbon-carbon in that hexagon that benzene is forming. Okay, so we know that that's going to be the distance. The transition is going to occur between the principal quantum number plus minus one to plus minus two. And then to calculate the change in the energy, this value is constant. And because the highest occupied level is plus minus one, the next level will be plus minus two. And that's why this one plus minus two is the final minus plus minus one being the initial. So when do all the substitutions two times the mass of the electron times r squared, with r being the carbon carbon length, uh, we end up finding that the energy that will correspond to that minimum energy transition is going to be equal to 9.34 10 to the minus 19 joules. Okay, that's all that it is to this model. It's a relatively simple calculation. It's going to help me estimate where that transition lies. And also, you can put this one in terms of electron volts, for example. But also, what you can calculate is what is the wavelength that will correspond to this energy. So you have a feeling of where you're going to find, where in the spectrum of electromagnetic radiation you're going to find this transition. So that's something that you can also find once you get the energy. Now, for you to try is this other ring system, Corony. In this case, you're going to also apply particle in a ring, in a ring model to calculate that minimum energy that requires uh, that is required to do the excitation of this pi electron now in this system. We're going to make these two assumptions. First, the radius of that ring is going to be three times the carbon-carbon bond length that we consider for benzene. But also that the electrons are going to be confined just to move in the outside of the molecule. So here is the ring that we are considering. And we are going to, for practical purposes, ignore the central quote-unquote benzene here. So in total, you're going to have 18 pi electrons in this system. So um, with this, I hope that this setup for that problem is relatively easier to follow based on the example that we did for benzene. But please let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you later.